So if you're looking for a machining centre, but it needs to be bigger than a metre. Uh, Mark, uh, we're here at the Matsura Open House. I've looked at some of your VMCs before, but I've not seen this one, the VX1500. This is, is this one of your bigger ver three axis verticals? Yes, this is the biggest three axis vertical that we do, yes. Um, tell me about the build on it to start with. I'm, I'm looking down here, I'm, I'm seeing your, your, your swarf extraction, your swarf augers, but I'm seeing um, three axis points on the Y axis. How's it built? Well, the machine has a, uh, a, a table, maximum table weight of two tonnes. So obviously you put some very large parts on there. Um, but obviously to support the table over that such a large expanse of one and a half metres, we need to add an extra set of rails under the centre just to give it the rigidity that it needs. So being able to hold that weight and being built like that, is, does, it, does it slow it down at all? Uh, not really, it's still 40 metres a minute. It's still plenty fast enough for a, for a three axis vertical. This machine we have here, um, it's 15,000 RPM machine with either BT40 or BT50. Uh, 1500 in the x-axis, is that correct? Yes, with the 1700 uh, table. And then what about the Y? Because I know this is a, a, a big point for us always when we talk to engineers. Yeah, the machine has 700 in Y on a 600 wide table. Quite open access as well, isn't it? Double door, light, easy to see. I know these are simple points, but the aesthetics do make a difference as well. It is. Also, when you're trying to load maybe a two-ton fixture plate or something into the into the machine tool, um, you've got multiple um, jacking or hanging points, so we need to have access through the top of the machine to be able to get large parts in. And this is now a BT50? This one behind is a BT50, it's also available, as I said, with BT40, both with 15,000 RPM. And when you get that speed, do you also get a bit of power here with a BT50 too? Because I know this Maxia spindle, they're very, they're very sturdy, aren't they? They're very well built, uh, you know, durable spindles. Yeah, I mean, for sure. Um, you know, it follows the same um, specification as you'd have on maybe the horizontal um, H plus 630 um, and also the MAM 7263V with uh, the BT50 as well. Also interesting, you, you cover an area down in the south of uh, uh, the country. You do very well with the five axis machines and uh, the horizontal machining centres. What, what about the verticals? Do they. You know, are, do, do you sell a lot of them? Are they as popular as some of your other machines? Because certainly when it comes to machine tools, this style of machine, there's a lot more sold than a five axis. Yeah, I mean, obviously Matsura, we're known for doing uh, lots of multi-pallet solutions, whether it be horizontal or five axis. But Matsura have been selling uh, three axis verticals into the UK for over 30 years. Um, so, you know, a lot of our customers that have multi-pallet solutions also want the three-axis machine, um, but there's a lot of customers out there that aspire to owning a Matsura, and, and this is an ideal way of getting them into Matsura ownership. If you had this machine for seven, eight, ten years, would you expect it to hold tolerance in the same way it does on day one? I know there's a lot of factors and variants involved in that, but are you confident in this machine's longevity? Oh yeah, for sure. Um, we have, some, uh, we have some very, very tight tolerance components that uh, customers are manufacturing on the, on the VX1000, um, uh, to be exact. But um, in that instance, they're holding less than five microns on Z height across the, the complete width of the table. So over a metre uh, x-axis stroke, Z height within five microns is, is being achieved. Built to last by the sounds of it. Definitely. So Matsu are very much in this game. And if you're looking for a VMC that's bigger than the meter, so uh, as Mark said, 1500 in the X and over 600 in the Y, 700 in the Y axis, then here's an option. Thank you very much, Mark. And it's in stock, isn't it? It is, yes.